master is it a teaching method or teaching aid teaching aid teaching aid what kind of teaching aid it is any idea what is the type of teaching aid how many teaching aids are available in our uh, that you read anyone can recall anything let me give you a hint or a clue uh, it it could be audio it could be visual or it could be audio visuals okay someone said it's a visual aid so what is a visual teaching aid is it anyone would uh, like to add something he is absolutely right it's a visual teaching aid so now tell me what is a visual teaching aid the thing is that in visual teaching aid it also required the electricity it may okay it is not like that always you need a uh, electricity for audio visual teaching aid for example nowadays you see the digital panaflex or digital poster for example movie poster in the theater where there is a big panel and you know there is a electric light inside of the box and whenever it is illuminated you can see it really clearly so you see that's a poster but still you need the electricity actually that's a visual teaching aid but still you need the electricity so it is not likely that uh, always you need uh, electricity only for the audio visual or audio teaching aid but not for the visual teaching aids clear so the main difference between audio visuals and audio visual teaching aids are the first of all in audio teaching aid you can only listen you can only use only one of your sensory organ your ears uh, the, but the visuals only the eyes or your uh, optic sensory organs but in audio visuals you can use your both auditory and optic sensory organs to understand that uh, object or the teaching aid so that is called audio visuals and uh, can you give me one example of audio visual teaching aids lecture sir the lecture you are giving us do you believe lecture is an audio visual teaching aid do you think i am a teaching aid oh sir sir television 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 teaching method okay television uh, except that any other idea sir multimedia uh, multimedia projector mm, maybe if you can um, if there is sound system in built in your projector then it could be otherwise not uh, your mobile phone your tablet your laptop your computers those are the best example of audio visual teaching aids clear so let me, yeah please oh by the way please ask the question wherever it is required don't bother and if you wish to ask any question put your ids at the chat box sorry not your ids sorry your question on the chat box and i'll respond or raise your hand please go on Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. I'm sorry. So, uh huh. And what is the difference between projected and non-projected? Can you please let me know? Oh, okay. 
let me clarify you. So the main difference between projected or non-projected. So I would say if someone is inbuilt in a system and it requires electricity or any other energy sources to put it on a, um, I would say a specific surface or location, uh, that is called projected. But if it is not like that, that is non-projected. For example, Ma'am has said it's the puppet show. It's the best example of non-projected, isn't it? Yeah. So, whichever requires electricity, or whichever is, I would say, pre-documented or pre-developed setting, that is called uh, projected. But whichever do not need or requires any electricity, or whichever is not uh, I would say projected or documented in previous time. For example, puppet show. You might go to the uh, fair you, and you can find that there are lots of dolls. Or can you see uh, the Monir Manush? It's a popular cartoon show hosted at BTV. When I was a kid, I saw that. There was three yes, characters. Sir. Parul, Guy, uh, Parul, Balod, Baul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is puppet show. You see, the artist, they are very much presented at the location and they have, um, I would say, uh, operated the dolls by their hand movements and manually. That doesn't need any electricity. But if that puppet show is motorized and ran by an electric wire and it is sleep program, then it's going to be projected. But the puppet show that is conventionally is shown in our country or elsewhere in the world that is not projected because there is a someone at the behind of the screen and he or she give the voice and operated the dolls by their hands so it doesn't require any electricity or it is not documented previously somewhere else so it is very much natural and emerging so for example if you told someone who is uh, doing the puppet show, hey, show me or give me a dialogue. He can create the, you know, he just gave out his all puppets from the box and create a show in front of you based on the real situation. So that doesn't require any electricity or he is not or she is not pre prepared or pre-projected before the, the time. So this is called non-projected teaching aid. Is that answer your question? Are you clear, clear now? Okay. Anyone have any more questions? No, let me start again. So some basic facts about poster. A poster is any piece of printed paper designed to be attached to a wall or a vertical surface. So the poster should be always placed at the vertical surface at your eye level. But the thing is that in some locations at BAU, you will find the poster at the bottom of your leg. They are placed on the floor. So whenever you went from the dining room and you found that that people are, you know, just uh, walking on the poster, they they just, you know, use that as a, uh, I would say, duster for their shoes. But that is not going to be a poster by definition. So the poster should always be attached on a wall or vertical surfaces. Uh, poster include both um, textual and graphic elements. So there in a poster, you may find both the picture and the text simultaneously. The poster should be eye catching and informative. They are a frequent tool of advertisers, particularly for events, musicians and films, propagandists, protesters and other group trying to communicate a message. So anyone who is trying to you know, communicate a message, uh, they use the poster because it is very cheap, it is very fast and this is very relevant with the context. And posters are also used for reproduction of artworks, particularly famous work and are generally low cost compared to original work. For example, the portrait of Mona Lisa that was developed by the great uh, uh, artist Leonardo da Vinci. So it is priceless, the original version, which is, uh, is saved in the uh, Paris, but 
the thing is that you can buy the poster the same poster the same thing from the your local shops maybe 20 bucks or 100 bucks maybe so it is really cheaper than the original artwork so the people may use the poster you know for reproduction for further activities and it is really low cost compared to the original artwork and the meaning of a poster so a poster is a sheet of paper with an illustration and a few simple words posters are large and colorful visual teaching aids as well as a method which carry only short catchy messages and present on central idea remember poster could be as well as a teaching method what kind of teaching method it is anyone have any idea any idea what kind of teaching method it is how many teaching methods are available it's a group teaching method great mass teaching method i'm sorry sir um, can we uh, mass teaching method it could be a mass teaching method can you please explain why it is a mass teaching method uh, <clears throat> sir uh, if we attach a poster in a public place then it can be a mass teaching method actually yes you are right and someone said it could be a group teaching method and he or she can reply why it is a group teaching method Iqbal, you said it's a group teaching method. Why it is a group teaching method? I'm expecting your answer. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, it it Yeah, it could be. Yeah, both are right. Iqbal, our medium of instruction is English. We are trying to practice English in our classes. Everyone would not be right. Even me, I made a lots of mistakes while I'm talking. So let's try in English, okay? Yes, sir. Because you know, there are lots of foreign students in this class. So if we only talk in Bengali, they might not feel inclusive. Okay, sir. Let me share my screen one more time. Okay. Uh, posters are intended to catch the attention of the hurriedly passing person, thrust the message upon them quickly, and lead them to action immediately. So it's like you are walking from your uh, uh, presidential hall to the department for attending a class, and you will find that suddenly on the hall uh, boundary wall, you saw a poster that there is a cultural event at the Shilpacharya Jonala within auditorium at 6 a.m. Uh, 6 p.m. and the maybe Shatabdi or any other cultural organization could perform uh, in that event. So you are really, really excited. And you, the on top of this, you also find that the Nogar Bowl will come after the that cultural uh, program to perform a concert. So you were really excited and you just, you have only two or three minutes on your hand to attend the class and it will take you one minute to get all the messages. So you were really a hurriedly passing person and first the message upon them. So you got the information, you got it from that poster, clear? Is there any question?
Then the mnemonics of poster is P for pictorial, O for observation, S for single idea, T for telling the story at a glance or self-explanatory, E for eye-catching, and R for rightly placed. History, you know, I would like to tell my students the, a little bit history uh, of any of my teaching uh, subject matter because I believe if you know the history, you might get a little bit interested in that topic. So, you know, extension is already a monotonous and boring subject to all of you. I know that. Uh, but the thing is that I try to make it a little bit interactive and interesting to you. So that's why I bring the history of the poster. The first posters were created in the mid 19th century in France as advertisement for new products. In less than 10 years, the use of posters is spread from France throughout the rest of the Europe. Uh, they were also used for promotional purposes for theaters and operas, shows, and major events in Paris and throughout the France. But the thing is that this guy, his name is Jules Carrot. He is called the father of poster. Just a moment, I got a phone call. Where are we are here. Yeah, so this guy called Jules Carrot, uh, he is the father of poster. Actually, he developed the first lithographic poster that is four color. I mean, the colorful poster now you saw, he's the first person who developed that. But before that, people are developing like um, two color poster, maybe black and white. So that's why Jules Carrot, 1836 uh, to 1933, the father of poster, was the first to give importance of poster as mm -hmm. an artistic image. In 1867, he used the new four color lithographic process to create a highly stylized form of graphic art that truly integrated text and images. So he also, you know, integrated both text and images in the poster, but before that it is only written form. In 1889, he also awarded the Legion of Honor for creating a new branch of art. Do you know what is that um, uh, honor or the award is given? This is the highest uh, award in France for, you know, for art and culture. Do you know, is there any Bangladeshi or Bengali people who earn this award? Anyone have any idea? Mustafa Kamal? No, uh, maybe no. Shatuchit Rui, as I know, and maybe Jolly Lavani. These two people from our Bengali nation, they got this award from France. Poster design was becoming increasingly popular and it was also thanks to the establishment of the graphics and new graphics, two magazines. Who were, you know, uh, publishing different form of poster in their magazines. Uh, the two world wars, especially first and second world wars, contributed to the common uses of poster in political campaigns. It started to become a medium of propaganda. It was used by communist party in order to manipulate the society. They used it. The thing is that, you know, in our um, country, most of the political parties, they use the posters. If you see the outside, there is the election, there is some, you know, like Jalo Jalo Agum Jalo, XYZ Chamra, Tulenebo Amra. These kind of things are written on the poster. Whenever you see on the street, most of the posters are like that. The, uh, or nowadays, it's a very common form of poster that Mr. Omuk Bhair Salamnin, Ashunna Nirvachan, Apnada Doa, Ghor Prati, these kind of things you are seeing on the posters in the whenever you are walking on your street. The development of technology modernized the process of designing poster. The richness and diversity of contemporary international graphic design did not limit the artist to follow just one stream. So the poster, anyone can develop the poster in any way. It's really innovative and creative in nature. So you are an artist, so you can create your own way or style to develop your own posters. 
It gave them great possibility to explore their own style, both to create something innovative and to refer to the traditional poster. The types of posters, there are lots of types of posters. So uh, for our class, we learned about educational posters and there are two types of educational posters. One is research posters, are another one is classroom posters. So most of the cases for this class, we learn about classroom posters. The purpose of the poster, to create awareness and interest among the people, to inspire and take people towards action, to provide an opportunity for learners to gain exposure to an area of a special interest, and finally to promote excellence in teaching. Do you know why you need to learn the poster? Beside this, Anyone have any idea? The thing is that you, whenever you will be graduated from BAU, uh, you will be sit for the BCS exam. The most of you will sit for the BCS exam. And the cadre service for us, like the agricultural graduate is called AEO, Agricultural Extension Officer. And uh, in that case, whenever you will be an extension officer, you need to organize a lots of group meetings, seminars, field day, method demonstrations, result demonstrations, everything with the farmers. So you need to develop a lots of poster for those sessions. But are you drawing them by hands? No. Are you uh, doing that by your own computers? Maybe not but you need to know the principles and the rules to prepare your posters because whenever you are asking your subordinate to develop a poster they might create a poster and you might if you know the principles to develop a poster you can rectify them you can edit them and you can revise those posters in according of the exact principles or whichever required for effective teaching so that's why we are teaching you the different kind of teaching aids it's not likely that you will, uh, you know, design those by your own hands. Better, I would say, you should know the principles. For example, you learn the plowing at the very level one, semester one from the Department of Agriculture. Isn't it? Yes, sir. And yeah, I believe you use the books for, and the country plow for cultivating your lands. But thing is that, do you ever going to do that? Answer is maybe not. Most of the cases not. But you need to know how the farmers plowing their land, what are the sufferings they are, how that hard task it is, so that you can, you know, feel an empathy for those people. So that's why we teach you that. Then the characteristics of a good poster. A good poster should be crisp. Is C for uh, colorful, R for realistic, I for interesting, S for self-explanatory, and P for precise. So these five characteristics should or must have a, a contain in a poster. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A poster should focus on a single catchy message at a time. For example, plant more trees, save the environment. The wording of a poster should be brief, maybe combination of a few simple words. It should not, uh, I would say, beyond more than two lines or two sentences in a sheet of paper. It should have simple letters which are bold, clear, and forceful. It should be colorful and attractive to draw the attention of the people and message and illustration in a poster should be presented very clearly to evoke the thoughtful interest of the people. The latest word or illustration should not be crowded and it should be large enough so that the audience can see and understand your poster easily and it should tell a story at a glance. For example, self-explanatory, imagine nowadays a people who is standing for election they are going to prepare maybe thousands of posters and if those posters are not self-explanatory then he 
or she needs to you know recruit thousands of people to stand beside their posters and explain that to their audiences for example you are passing through the poster and ask a brother or sister what is this why are you hanging this poster then after two or three minutes another people is on the same way and he or she gonna ask the same question to that person and it's gonna run for maybe 10 or 15 days and that people may you know we may recruit different ships uh, uh, for those people so do you think is that feasible or is that uh, practical or logical if you need to recruit someone to explain your poster in front of the audience i mean if it is a mass method do you think it is possible no sir no, no sir no sir so the thing is that your poster should stand alone and explain itself without any intervention or help from other people so that's why that your poster should be self explanatory is there any questions from anyone no okay sir <coughs> yeah so what is the proportion of writing parts and illustration parts in a picture in a poster we will say that uh, maybe after one or two slides you might get your answer okay okay the standard size of a poster the ideal or standard size of a poster is 75 centimeter by 50 centimeters it's like 20 inch by 30 inch However, the size of a poster may vary depending on the number of audiences and other factors. Clear? But this is going to be standard size, 75 centimeter by 50 centimeter or 20 inch by 30 inch. Uses of posters. The posters are especially hand-drawn, may be used as a teaching aid in the classroom. Training session, group meeting and farmer's day. These could be the other sessions where uh, you are using can, uh, using your posters. Printed poster may be used in large number of campaigns like farmer's rallies, exhibitions and other purposes. It can be used effectively as a mass medium to advertise or publicize the various events or provide information for creating awareness amongst the people. So we may ask a simple question in the fiber. Uh, what is the purpose of a poster? The simple answer would be that creating awareness among the people. Uh, the poster can be put or displayed in public places so that people can see them easily from reasonable distance. The suitable places would be public schools, colleges, shopping places, bus trains, station, and central point of different roads. In general, the greater the number of posters used in this area, the greater impact on its masses. Steps of preparing a poster. There are three steps. Number one, planning, preparation, and follow-up. What is planning? Deciding the theme of a poster. What could be the theme of your poster? Identifying the key points or key messages. What is the message you want to share with your friends or with your audiences? Deciding the size of a poster, caption, illustration, and color could be used. Then preparation, lettering. This is very important. The caption should be short and less number of words using active voice or striking slogan. For example, safe trees, safe environment. Catchy, using plain bold lettering that reflects the theme. It is not wise to break the caption and write it vertically. So the caption should be always at the top of the poster. Whenever I show some poster, you will find what I mean to it. A poster can only cover one or two blocks of information. Viewers should be able to read from a distance. It should not be crowded with lots of information or illustration, illustration so that people can't you know, read from a distance. Thus, the size of uh, lettering is important. If the poster is used to create awareness of large population, all necessary information about the practice or event especially place, time, venues, and organizers or source of information should be included in for effective communication. Then the color selection. This is the slide. Oh, oh yeah, it should be the design level. This is two common question in the both class test, final, and the bhagavusi. What do you mean by color contrast and color harmony? What is primary picture? What is secondary picture? 
so the color contrast means the selection of combination of colors based on the background for example message or lettering and illustration should be have contrast with the background for easy viewing the principle of color contrast is to use dark color on the light background and light color on the dark background for example what is the background of my screen right now white white and what it is the color of my text black black and what happened if i select the yellow color for example let me show you an example okay no this is not the thing i'm looking for wait a minute is it more readable or the previous one was more readable the previous one which one Previous one. Previous one. Now let uh, us back to the previous one. See how it different. So this is called color contrast. So if you use the dark background, you should use the light color. But if you use the light background, you should use the dark color. There are some example, the black or red color on yellow background paper and dark blue color on white background paper or yellow on black background paper. These are some examples, but you can choose your own color. Okay. But think about that. If you use a really like high strength color at your background, the strength of your text color should be really lighter than the background color. Then the color harmony. It is the selection of natural colors so that illustration become real and living on. Therefore, it is necessary to maintain harmony by selecting right combination of colors. For example, if someone wants to draw a poster on tree plantation, she must use green color in showing leaves of trees. For example, what kind of trees we are planting? Maybe the saplings or the juvenile plants. So the color of the leaves of most of the juvenile plants are green. But if you draw the color of that specific leaves as blue or red, or you know yellow do you think that's going to represent that poster or if i want to ask you to draw a cow what should be the natural color of a cow brown i'm sorry white or black white, black brown now you draw a cow with the blue color tinta to bhalo kharab dui dai kora lagbo jodi bhalo chintai koro tale to ha represent your poster which uh, represent the core message of your poster at the secondary picture which are associated with the primary picture which are used to you know um, um, to explain your primary poster uh, picture more concisely or elaboratively that is called secondary picture so whenever i show you the poster you will find that an illustration a striking illustration is worth than countless of world. Illustration may be drawing or photographs or image. Illustration should show a clear distinct, distinction between what information is, is essential and what information is secondary importance. Preferably, catch picture, uh, uh, preferably each picture should serve to illustrate only one thought and should not show unnecessary details. They should be easily recognizable and bold in composition with proper caption to create visual appeals. The illustration of the poster must reinforce the message. So your illustration must reinforce your message. It is, um, it should be the core idea of your poster. It should create, or it should placed in the most of the spaces of your poster, both physically and psychologically. Then the design, whoever asks a question, what should be the ratio? So now came to this, uh, we came to this um, slide. So the design of a poster should be well balanced so that viewers can travel smoothly and quickly through the caption and illustration. In case of agricultural poster, it usually made up for both pictures and lettering. The picture should occupy not more than the lettering. So uh sorry the picture should occupy more space than the lettering so the lettering should be one third of your poster and two third would be the illustration so let me show the whiteboard what is the whiteboard Kumar. Whiteboard. yeah can you see the whiteboard yes sir 
so let me get a little bit okay let's try with this imagine this is a poster okay just imagine so divide it in three portion equal three portions maybe like this am i clear yes sir so one, yes sir two three three segments so this portion should be used for lettering or caption and this portion should be used for picture or illustration did you get my point yes sir yes sir. Have, anyone have any question on this issue this is really important it's gonna ask you in most of the exams okay moreover uh, adequate margin should be maintained to avoid the placing elements against the edge of the designing area so at least you should place one inch margin in each side of your poster it is better to make a rough sketch of the poster initially and with a pencil and then finalize it an attractive layout will greatly facilitate the dissemination of the message so the main idea or main uh, message of this slide is you need to divide your poster in three segments and the first one third portion would be used for lettering and two third would be used for the images of your posters and you should also add one inch margin in each side of your posters materials poster paper colored pen pencil measuring scales eraser etc and follow up it is necessary to watch audiences reaction for large scale production of agricultural posters some specimens should be tried out first and then after getting proper feedback necessary follow up steps should be taken for example if preparing 20000 copies of a poster and if each copy may be 20 taka then the 20000 how many it will be maybe 4 lakhs and that's a huge amount of money and you suddenly you found that your audiences have uh, are not understand the message properly there are some spelling error there are not properly color contrasted and color harmony there is problem with primary pictures and secondary pictures so you need to again spend four, four lakhs taka or 400k money to prepare your poster and that is not possible in a country like us so the thing is that we need to prepare a poster first a very draft and then we need to get the feedback of your target audiences the expert members very thoroughly check the errors the typos and other things and if you find it is approved by those your stakeholders then go for the final reproduction advantages of using of a posters it facilitates display of idea to a large number of people quickly it builds awareness regarding new technology or events, facilitates motivating people, helps in making announcements, can be used in launching campaigns, it is comparatively cheaper rate, and can draw the attention of all categories of the people, including literate and old. For example, uh, if you use a graphic poster, the illiterate people and the old people may see it and ask the uh, person hey boy what is the picture is here i saw a big mango or a mango tree what is that i saw a big goba tree i saw a big pot roller what is that but classes maybe you can got it the leaflet is really effective for the literate people but poster is effective for illiterate old child whatever there is group it's about large amount of difficult to read text it is easily portable and finally, there are some limitations of poster as well. It cannot furnish detailed information about a subject. It gives very shallow and brief information. Requires a special skills in preparing a poster. If you don't have a better skill, it's tough for you to prepare a poster. Provide short-term access of information. Well, if not properly displaced in right person. For example, you prepare a poster on rice cultivation and you placed it on a fish farming community. The people or the, you know, the community which is um, highly motivated to um, for fish farming and you prepare a poster on 
rice cultivation and placed in that community. Do you think that poster will work? No. But if you prepare a fish uh, farming, uh, I mean a poster on the fish farming and placed in the fish farming community, then it will create more or I would say attract more people than before. So your target audience is really, really important to selecting your poster and idea. Do you have any questions? Yes, or enjoy, sorry, Joy Kumar Boshak, please go on. Sir, uh, uh, is not it necessary to add any logo or uh, like a ministry logo or AI is logo? It is not necessary, but if you wish, you can. You just wrote like courtesy or distributed by the name. I'll show you the poster. But if you want to use a logo, that is also acceptable and highly appreciable. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. So if not, then we are end of this class. Now I will teach you how to prepare poster in both manually and digitally so for this class i would like to see that each and every students are preparing two posters one could be hand drawn another could be the digitally prepared uh, i believe most of you have a device i mean an electric electronic device maybe either mobile phone or laptop or computer whatsoever don't you have that one yes sir <laughs> So if so, uh, you can use the posters uh, or you can prepare your poster by using a Microsoft PowerPoint. I think Microsoft PowerPoint is really uh, available at free of cost in both Android version and in um, laptop and the computer as well. Is there anyone who don't have any PowerPoint in their uh, com computers or the mobile phone? So what about, about uh Photoshop or Illustrator? Yeah, you can prepare it Photoshop and Illustration. That is for the expert one, but I'm talking about the mass people. I believe most of the people don't know how to use the Photoshop and the Illustrator, but they can prepare it on their PowerPoint slides. Don't you think so? So yeah, Photoshop and Illustrator, if you can make it, that is very, very good for you. You can do that. That is acceptable. I'll show you some posters that is prepared by your um, previous, I would say your juniors, like students of level one, semester two. Let me show you some poster first. And you also need to prepare a hand-drawn poster. You need to buy a poster paper from your local paper shop. You can buy it from anywhere in Bangladesh or any of the world. Uh, you need to go there, you need to ask your paper uh, shopkeeper that you need a um, poster paper. It is either white color or yellow color would be better because you are going to use dark color. So I would say white or yellow color poster and it will take only 5 to 10 taka in BGT, not more than that. But if you be in department, we are going to sir, uh, provide that paper. But if you be in department, we'll do that later. But right now I need you to buy that one. It may be 10 taka for each people. And I think all of you can afford that money. It's not a problem. And you need to draw your own poster. Clear? Your poster should be in Bengali. Clear? Yes, sir. But I know there are a few foreign students. Are, uh, is there any foreign students in this class? Yes, sir. Uh, where are you from? Sir, I am Bangladeshi, but there are five students in uh, no, from Nepal. They are in Section A. Uh, okay, there are five students from Nepal. Are they joined this session? Yes, sir. How many of you? So we are five students. Okay, so th the thing is that you can prepare the poster on your own language or in English, both is accepted for you, for five of you only. But all the people from, students from Bangladesh, uh, they need to prepare posters in Bengali and students from Nepal, either Nepalese or English.
Is that is there any question on this instruction? If you don't have any question, then let me show you. And you need to submit the poster before next Thursday. How many CRs now? Is there four CR is presented in this class? Who are the four CR? Who is the CR for section A, B, C, and D? Okay, how some section D is here? Section D. Assalamu alaikum, sir. I mean, Siam, section A. Section A. And oh, sir. Sir, I'm Akash, section B is here. Section B. Who is from show you? Here is the color. So I can choose the color, whatever I want. Let's choose the yellow one. Did you get it? How I did it? You can write whatever you want. And you can put your idea here. Maybe let, let me write another idea here for you so that you can't confuse. Maybe here I can write my ID. Clear? So that I could understand who is creating this poster so that I can give the marks. You see? It's done. And in your uh, PowerPoint, you can write it Bengali. So you need to prepare your poster in Bengali. Is there anyone have any question? No. Uh, uh, what will be the topic of our poster? It's you. You need to choose your own topic, and it could be relevant with the agriculture. You have yes, the sir. full freedom to choose, choose your own topic. Okay, now, the thing is that whenever you are, you know, after preparing a poster, go to the presentation mode and take a screenshot. And it could be saved as image. Or you can go to file, see what, how I did it. Go to file, save as. You see, these are the different formats. So just drop down here and you will find JPEG interchange. In all four point, you can save it as a JPG format. And now you need to give a name, maybe demo poster. Uh, it will ask you all slides or just this slide. You just click just this slide. And it will save as a poster. Let me see where it's been saved. No, this is not the thing I'm going to show you. Can anyone recall what was the name of that poster? Let me save it again. I forgot the location. Save as and select as a JPG interchange format and it's saved in dummy poster. Let me save in a different place. Ah. It is here, so I will save it. This is not done a poster. Can you able to see it? So you see, now you can share it with your CR. Now I'm gonna show you some posters that is prepared by your uh, class, like fellow classmate, I'd say your juniors. Uh, it is on my full drive. Uh, 
Okay, stop share now. Hit on here. And you guys uh, know how to fold the folder in last classes. Do you understand that? Did you understand from your last class how to fold the leaflet and folder? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah, please go on. Sir, what about the sequence of our topic in the folder? Sir, we just art and image or anything. Sir, folder topic kula ki hobe? Again, it should be depend on any cul uh, cultivation practices. Yeah. It, should be it should be based on any production practices, intercultural operations, management. Sir, ki hobe? Amne ki bhabe shuru korbo? Sir, bhumi ka dibo? Tar par hotche ki bhabe cultivate korbo? Shegulo likbo? Sir, oi sequence to sir bolle dai nai. Uh, do, do you think that your teacher is going to prepare your folder? No. Sir, but, prepare for me. But if you have a topic, you will have a certain part of the part. You will have a certain part of the part. You will have a certain part of the part. Okay. So, the thing is... Sir, our topic is going to be a very important part of the part. So, the part of the part is going to be a land preparation. But if you have a cultivation, you will have a harvest. So, the topic is going to be a very important part of the part. What do you think? If you want to give me a leaflet, you will have a topic based on your topic. Sir, we will have a topic based on your topic. What do you think? If you want to give me a leaflet based on homestead gardening, what should be the point that should be included in that poster? Sorry, that leaflet. I want to remember. I want to read your leaflet and I want to prepare or develop a homestead garden. What the information should I need from your leaflet? Sir, I am asking you, what do you think? Uh, sir, I have a question. I know what the point. I will, I will give you the answer. But I am asking your thought in that process. What do you think? What the information do I need on, uh, on that leaflet? Sir, how do you do this? 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 Anything else? Sir, how do you do this? Sir, you don't have any other idea. Anyone can help us? What the information should I know? Please go. How do you do this? How do you do this? Sir, try to... Speak in English because we have foreign uh, students here. Uh, Two twenty-three, please go on. Sorry, I interrupted you. Two twenty-three, please. Sir, mainly production technology. Uh, what should be included in the production technology? Uh, so soil and. and uh, land preparation and this type of agricultural uh, activities. These are in, included uh, in production of this uh, specific uh, okay, vegetable or... Uh -huh. Any other thoughts? Maintenance also be mentioned. Which one? The weeding purposes. Weeding, weeding, yeah, yeah, very good. Anything else? Sir, if the crop is uh, potato, then adding up will also include it. Uh -huh. Then intercultural operations. So, uh, who was that? Arjuma, can you hear me? G, sir. So, let's talk in English. Try to do it, okay? Uh, the thing is that in a poster, uh, sorry, in a folder or leaflet, which could teach the people regarding the homestead gardening. At first, if I develop that, it's totally up to you. It's your leaflet. So if I develop that, at first I'd give a brief introduction. What is homestead gardening? Why it is important? 
then I would go for seed selection, where the farmers, I mean, the especially rural women can get their seeds. Are they going to um, cultivate the hybrid varieties or the local varieties? How can they get the seeds? They can get it from the previous year crops. They can get it from the local markets. Afterwards, I would go for the land preparation. Then I would go and put like uh, mulching, weeding, uh, any kind of intercultural operation that requires. Then I go for harvesting or maturity symptom. For, for example, if someone is um, preparing a, uh, for pumpkin or goat or, you know, spinning anything, and I would say how they can know. Uh, how they can know it is mature enough for harvesting. Then I would go for nutrient management. How they can get the nutrients, fertilizing their um, homestead gardens. Uh, the, what could be the possible sources of manure and fertilizer. Then I would go for harvesting. And then I would go for processing. If there is any opportunity for processing, I would go for that. And then I would go for the further information requires. Uh, please contact me or XYZ or local agriculture office something like that so if you tell me i'll develop my leaflet in that way is that answer your question arjuma uh, yes, sir. so try to be innovative in your own way sir i have a question sir. yeah please go on. what if i select and specific vegetables and then write upon it that is also accepted. If you think about homestead pumpkin cultivation, go for it. Homestead papaya cultivation, go for it. Okay, sir. No one gonna bother that. Remember, it, your poster, it's your folder, it's your leaflet. You are the best one to choose your topic. You are the best one to select your. Uh, whenever we teach you the, we taught you the leaflet. We taught you like the poster should be psychological order. Your leaflet information should be placed in a psychological orders or psychological manners. It should be logical. So think in that way. You must not say harvesting at the beginning and planting at the end of your leaflet. Go in a sequential way. And I never told you what are the items you need to put in your leaflet on your folder. It's totally up to you. Any other question? Sir, do you have any sample leaflet? You want to see sample leaflet? Don't you see any sample leaflet yet? No, sir. Okay. Let me show the poster first, then I'll show you the leaflets. Sir, I have a question. Yeah, please go on. In poster, can you use the same topic for both, for digital and manual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can do that. Okay, sir. Uh, let me show you the digital. Uh, this is for the hand drawn poster. And I was really amused that my students prepare the hand drawn and digital poster in very innovative way. Let me share my screen with you. Can you see it? My screen. Can you see it? Yes. So what's wrong with the, this poster? You see, it's like There is no border of this poster. And this Procharya Bangladesh Agricultural University is really, really bigger in size. And the pictures is really smaller and, you know, they just view it. But there are some good posters. This one is really good. Deshi follow shobjite beshi pushti khaddo. Deshi follow shobjite beshi pushti ortho khaddo pai tushti. Oh, Baba. It's really tough to read. This could be which one? Uh, what about this one? Colorway 
This is another one. Boshat Barite Shobjiyo Phol Barabe Pushti Jogabe Bolo. This is more or less, uh, I would say, an ideal one. And if you see the poster, this is the primary picture. Can you see my cursor? Um, but I rarely see the home street. Here is some home street, and these are the secondary pictures, especially the homes, uh, this hay straw, uh, horizon farm, and primary picture are these vegetable plots. And there is someone is working at the plot. Can you able to see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can see. And this one is digital one. It's mixed. Term. This one is another good posters. You see the same topic, but each and every student sometimes prepared in a different way. Someone is prepared a digital poster on hydroponics. But if I restrict you that you have to prepare what is that? Krishi Bachao, Krishak Bachao. It's so striking. You see, this is the farmer who is suiciding. Oh my God. This is another one. This is another one. Who did, who did this one? Okay. What's wrong with this poster? You see, there is a lots of free spaces here, and if he can enlarge the pictures, then he could, you know, uh, occupy these vacant spaces. And this is another one. Uh, save the water, save the plant, uh, earth. But this poster, he or she never mentioned who is prepared that. This is another digital one. This is another one. You see, it's called like uh, clean the water, green the planet something. And there is a land, earth, water, something is there. And this Prochari Bangladesh this portion has been distributed by you can place it at the very end. And I told them to keep at least one inch margin, but it look like there it is not one inch in each size. It's different. This is another one. This is another one. This is another one. This is another one. Shoni, Shoni, your market. This is another one. You can put your name in the margin so that it is not occupied by your image. Clear? another one this is another one and you see this would be the title this is smaller than the distribution so this is not the accurate your title should be bold it should be capitalized and it should you know attract you and you see how it created it's like Moshlar Gun Shadan Guri, Rok Pudra Guri. It looks like title and this one is like secondary. This one is another one digital poster. This one is You see how color contrast work. He or she developed, uh, put the green, yellow color of the yellow background. Do you think that makes sense? No, sir. Okay. So I am showing you this thing so that you can get the information from here and rectify your own poster. This one is another one. This one is really, I would say, representative one. Uh, 
what is the most important part to prepare a poster i would say your illustration and your uh, text both are important if you can create a catchy word for your <laughs> then uh, your poster could be attractive for rest of the part and you need to select the really really i would say representative for your poster so that your people can get interest remember the idea of quiz your poster should be quiz C for colorful, R for useful, I for innovative. Uh, I forgot what are those. Uh, S for self-explanatory, P for placed in a right location. So, is there any more questions? Is there any, um, I would say, confusion or do you need more clarification to prepare your posters? I have a little confusion. I'm sorry? Sir. Yeah. I'm hand art and digital art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. আমি আমরা মানে আমরা ভাবতেছি আমাদের কমন ড্রাইভে একটা ফোল্ডার মেক করে দেব এন্ড দেন সবাইকে ওটাতে অ্যাক্সেস দেব সবাই এডিট করতে পারবে সো তারা যখন ইচ্ছা ওখানে ঢুকে আর কি তাদের ফাইলটা আপলোড করে দিতে পারবে ইয়া এটা সবাইকে আই উড সে আই থিং আকাশ গট দা রাইট পয়েন্ট ইউ হেনেভার ইউ সেন্ড ইওর পোস্ট ইউ ক্যান রিনেম ইট উইথ ইওর আইডি নাম্বার এন্ড রাইট ইট ডিজিটাল দেন হেনেভার ইউ পুট ক্রিয়েট এ ম্যানুয়াল পোস্টার গিভ ইওর আইডি এন্ড underscore your uh, uh, i would say manual poster for example my id may be 0802243 underscore digital poster my id 0802243 underscore manual poster and send it to your cr and remember this is not the duty of your cr to call you and collect your poster it is your duty to call you and give or email your posters to your cr they work here voluntarily clear Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Is there any more questions? Sir, what specific topic we do have? I'm sorry. Would you please go a bit louder? What specific topic will we have? Any Again, topic? I told it's your poster. You need to select your own topic. But it should be based on any agricultural subject matter. that is relevant with your faculty or your course work is that answer your question yes sir thank okay. you ah uh, you are <coughs> any more questions yes sir i have a question sir yeah jaidul go on sir i am saying that at first i have to select an a4 or letter page no for uh, digital or for manual so for digital yeah you can go on a4 or manual later anyone anything else yeah So I have another question, sir. Uh, yeah. For leaflet, mm -hmm. uh, I have to divide into three equal parts. Okay. For leaflet or poster? So for leaflet, sir. We are talking about posters. For from where leaflet came? Yes, sir. Understood, sir. I'm sorry. I got the point, sir. Thank you. I I I'll, I'll tell I will tell your uh, query after finishing my poster part. Okay. Don't okay. worry. I, I'll give you the answer. any questions related to posters no questions the seers got your point how you need to collect your th things and send it to me yes sir okay now come jaidul come to the uh, leaflet what is your question okay sir i was saying that actually for leaflet we have two surface okay yeah. then we have to make a head page at first uh, we have to divide it to three equal part of the page yeah i'm a little doubt that uh, 
uh, which number of pages uh, should I select for illustration or for my description? That's another good question. Remember, I would go um, if you were planning for a uh, maybe planting technology, maybe your title page, like the very top page which you were on your folder, that should got a picture. And maybe the introductory page, I will give all the information whenever it's kept for any intercultural operation, weeding or manuring, I will give a very little pictures. Maybe I would say first up of the pages and rest of the things I will go with the uh, text. And the thing is that uh, there might be four pages that you need to write and three page, two pages is the uh, for maybe blank so no mm -hmm. yeah 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 four pages you need to write and two pages one would be title one would be the very last pages so in four pages i would give at least three pictures and rest of the part i would fill with writings or text is that answer your question okay sir i understand and let me show you as i found a few of you have some confusions with the leaflets. I prepared a PowerPoint presentation last night. It may take five minutes. So if you wish, I can share that with you. I don't know if you wish, if you guys wish. Do you need me to show that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So. insert the margin on each pages separately so you see the yellow margin is appeared on your post uh, the pages yes sir now we are almost done so now this is the main thing the fold the back right page i mean page four on the front middle page i mean page two and put the back right or title page on the top so see this is the front middle this is the back right of the front page, I mean page four on page two, and this is the title page. So ultimately it's gonna be look like this. Do you understand this? So it might be the title page of your leaflet, you may put an image here and logo and organization name. It's gonna be a title page or back left. This is the main body or text of your leaflet with picture if needed. If you think this is front left page one, this is front middle page two main body, and this is the main body again the page three. This is the concluding remarks or page four back left, and this is the page five or back middle. This is the any final image you want to give. Then prepared and edited by that information should be here, and finally the contact information. And this is for the flat leaflet or single leaflet. Your title should be here. The main text, you may put an image here, main text and logo and organization name. This is for front page. And this is for the back page. Any final image that you want to give, then the main text prepared and edited by contact information. It's done. Is there any question? Do you understand it properly? Or is there any more questions? Sorry. Yeah, okay, please. So we have come to know that we cannot write on the back page, on leaflet. I'm sorry? So we have come to know that we cannot write on the back page of leaflet. Why you can't write on the back page? Sir, in the previous class, we, we have come to know that. You can write in both pages, even if you can write on a single page side. It's totally up to you and your information. You can write at the only top pages, you can write in the both pages. Both is accepted. Okay, sir. Any more questions? 
Sir, should we add any margin? In leaflets? Yes, sir. Of course, you need to add margins. Oh, you guys asked me to show some leaflets, isn't it? Sir, do you have any demo, sir? Yeah, 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 I have. Let me show. Uh, just a moment. Uh, we are running out of time. Just a moment. I will show you within a few minutes. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. So this one, you see, they created the margins in each side. This is the very last pages. I don't know, page four. And this is the one of the top pages. This one again, you see how they give the information, how they created the pictures and what are the things they have added. This is the last page. So another one is also the last page. You see they given the illustration that's some information and you know who is prepared and further communication, this information, the very end page. This one, maybe one page of- Sir, we cannot see. You can see. You can't see? No, sir. What? No, sir. For oh, them. Wait, I got the thing. What happened? Let me share my screen. One. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait. Uh, let me see it from here. This is the top page. This is the middle, I mean, the pages of the front margin that you need to add. These are the information at the very last pages. This one is another one that you can add. This is uh, some information. This is harvesting of something. This one is top page of another leaflet, like Bina Tomato 11 and Bina Tomato 12. Mm -hmm. Then uh, um, there is some other pictures that you can also see here. This is for the inside of that uh, leaflet. I would support that. Uh, and these are uh, another a few pictures. This is the front page. This is uh, just a two leaflet that I brought for demo. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. Does it help? Sir, I have one question. Yes, Hapsa, go on. Hello? Yeah, go on. Uh, sir, is there any restriction about the medium, uh, like the poster color or pencil color or any kind of uh, restriction? No restriction. A preference? No restriction. It's your poster. You know better than me how to develop your poster. Thank you. Questions? If you don't have any questions, I think we are already over three minutes and we can stop our class here. One, two, three. This is yes, page four, four, page five, and this is your title. I think page six. So your page five would be the very end of your leaflet. Like the information contact. Information. Please mute everyone. Digital book. So the thing is that your title page should be, I mean, your page six, ultimately your title page or the, oh, sorry, your question was your back middle and back right. Am I right? Yes, sir. Page four and five. Five. So your page four would be the very concluding remarks of your leaflet. Maybe the harvesting, uh, I would say irrigation, or maybe I would say marketing, this kind of information. Whichever is the aid message you want to share, that should be on your page four. And your page five should share maybe any final pictures, maybe who is preparing this leaflet or folder, and to whom you should future contact. If you see this picture, this is page four, back left. This is the concluding remarks, text with your leaflet, with picture if needed. And this is your page five. Any final image, prepared or edited by, you can give the information and the further contact information that you can share. 
Is that answer your question? Yes, sir. I get it. So um, page four should include the conclusion of the leaflet and page five should include the credits. Credits, yeah. I uh, answer my uh, I was con my confusion was about the sample you showed us just um some while ago okay. where I couldn't uh, um, distinguish between page four and five. Okay, okay. Let me it's it's happened. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. This is page one, page one. two, and page three. Yes, clear? Sir. Yes, sir, clear. And this is your title page of that leaflet. Yes, sir, clear. And this is the page four of that leaflet. Page four. Yeah, you see that uh, harvesting. Yes, sir. And this is the page five of that leaflet. Yes, sir. And now I get it. You got it? Yes, sir. Any other final question, comments?